Taking on this big world was not the Roloff's only challenge, because the dark reality TLC producers kept secret for all these years is now being brought to light. Number 1. Feud over who takes over Purchasing a deserted property in 1990, Matt Roloff reconstructed this into a whimsical pumpkin patch, accessible for all sizes. Clearly, the Roloffs have a strong emotional attachment toward this family heirloom, not to mention a cool currency invested as well. Now ready to retire, Matt's dream to carry on the family legacy was easier said than done. I've been going back and forth about exactly what to do with the north side of the farm. The battle over who takes over this caused a huge divide amongst the entire family. Together, they did a really good job with the farm, but together, it's also very not healthy for them. According to The Sun, sources close to the family said, Zach is the most interested, but secretly, Matt would rather Jeremy be involved because he gets the business a little more. Everyone's always assumed that Jeremy would be the one taking over the farm, including myself. Which has led to heated discussions. Recently, Jacob Roloff tweeted, then deleted, how the farm was on the market to be sold. He wrote, realizing the farm is for sale? Well, this sucks. Considering Jacob's affinity for the truth, this had fans questioning if the impulsive tweet then delete was more due to producers' inability to control the storyline of the family feud. Tune in. Number 2. Secret Mineshaft Chronicles Matt gave a rare insight into this 1914 diamond in the rough barn of Narnia. Purchased in 1992, Matt left it vacant for years. Matt decided to provide a little TLC, if you will, and a whole lot of money. Recently, Matt has spent over two million in renovations in just two years. This secret farm was discovered long before the reality show premiered in 2003. With no plan for a business transaction, Matt wanted to invest into his own personal dream creation he names the Secret Mineshaft. Number 3. Exposing Fake Reality Jacob opened up about the specific roles each family member was cast to appeal for viewers. On an Instagram post, Jacob wrote, The family that is filmed is not my family. Jacob added, They are the Roloff characters, and I have scarcely anything in common with them, nor do I want to be a character myself. Jacob's dissociated from the pressures working for a money-hungry production to fit TLC's crafted image. This resulted in Jacob quitting the show in 2015, rejecting TLC entirely. Number 4. Little People, Big Controversies At one time, Matt had to fight for his sobriety. Matt Roloff opened up about his gradual yet tight grasp of his addictions, robbing Matt of his relationships and reputation, but mainly his health. Matt admitted, I know that I was taking a huge risk by using them. As a little person, Matt recalls the significant damage it caused considering his smaller stature. The outcome resulted in health issues he struggles with daily. Admitting, I never thought I'd be someone who used, but it happened, Roloff wrote. Matt's intention of opening up was to prevent people from the life-altering consequences when dabbling in illegal substances. Addiction does not discriminate against anybody, regardless of how smart, wealthy, and successful one may be. Matt stated, I thought I could just try it and get out of it, but I was wrong. It caught me like a bear trap. I almost didn't escape. Number 5. Truth Behind Roloff Divorce After 27 years of marriage, TLC attempted to soften the blow of the divorce announcement between Amy and Matt. There's tension between my parents, and I don't really want to be a part of it, and uh, I just hope that they can not let it get out of control. The disheartened fans had producers scrambling to figure out an amicable narrative on the show, but the real reasons for the split had a dark history with years of secrets. Ranging from Matt's infidelity, legal woes, and health issues, Amy admitted they barely knew each other when they got married, but they were unhappy in each other's presence, unable to even enjoy vacations together. Marriage counseling was not working, and they decided their forced happy marriage portrayal on TV officially reached its expiration date. Amy told Us Magazine, I definitely don't want to pretend that I'm suddenly going to become best friends with my ex, Amy continued. I don't think either one of us are going to go out of our way and be over each other's house every other weekend. After this split, TLC producers realized that the family drama brought in better ratings. Little people living as one big happy family was now a wrap. Number 6. My Ex-Wife's Wedding After Matt and Amy's divorce, Amy got engaged to Chris. With a wedding to plan and no decisions made, they did know one thing. Ex-husbands were not on the guest list. Would you be okay if I invited him? Matt? 
Considering the Roloff's blended family, the high probability of awkward encounters on the wedding day left the couple uncomfortable at the thought of Matt attending. The fiancés continued to struggle to find the perfect wedding venue. Matt knew exactly the solution to this problem. Despite not being invited, Matt selflessly offered the farm to celebrate their wedding. Not Amy's first choice, but she decided to take him up on his offer. Amy stated, In the end, the farm was really the perfect venue. It was a nice surprise that he offered. Number 7. Roloff's Secret Payoff Fan of the show, Linda Farrell sued the Roloff farm for negligence due to a lack of safety measures. In 2009, Linda claimed she lost her balance, stumbled forward, and fell off a pavilion. Demanding $100,000 for her injuries due to the farm being reckless and outrageous with a conscious indifference to the health, safety, and welfare of others. The Roloffs refused to pay, claiming Linda was responsible for her own safety. To avoid negative press, the Roloffs strategically preserved the farm's reputation of safe inclusivity by settling out of court for an undisclosed amount. Case dismissed. Number 8. Baking Business Busted Amy began her own online banking company, using her friend's bakery to help promote and produce items. Every woman needs her girlfriends, and um, I think the most important thing is that, you know, they're very encouraging, they're very supportive. Later, it was revealed in 2017, a hygiene complaint was filed against the bakery due to huge rat infestation. This forced the bakery to be shut down entirely by authorities. Despite this setback, Amy was able to successfully launch her online baking company in 2018 and continues to sell her items online. Number 9. The Truth About Audrey Jeremy's wife was not a popular addition to the family in the eyes of producers, siblings, and viewers of the show. Audrey's extroverted and inspirational persona with a following of 1.5 million on Instagram left viewers confused when she made her debut on the reality TV series. But Audrey's cold and moody vibes were not the only reason people disliked her. A self-proclaimed marriage counselor of sorts, Audrey opened up on her blog about her traditional views regarding the duty of a wife. In Audrey's mind, once you walk down the aisle, your husband owns your body. She goes further to explain wives must fulfill their husband's needs, wishes, and desires at all times of the day, no matter what. Let's just say, readers, we're in an uproar. Number 10. Vow to Leave TLC Audrey Roloff claimed her wedding came very close to being called off due to all the stress from filming. Stating it was very invasive, Audrey admitted to questioning Jeremy and her future being associated as the wife to a reality TV husband. After they married, the couple agreed to move on from the show entirely. Fan favorite Jeremy announced his decision to stop featuring on the show, to which viewers blamed Audrey's stubborn influence for his sudden decision to depart from TLC. Number 11. No Fans in the Neighborhood TLC producers tried to hide the neighborhood's majority dissatisfaction with the spectacle from this famous farm. Sources say the neighbors often complain about the amount of traffic in the local area, especially as 30,000 people flooded the farm. Neighbors claim the farm has been outrageously crowded with the film crew, not to mention excessive noise with no privacy in the neighborhood. This bad reputation only grew worse since their hit TV show exploded in popularity. But TLC kept that one under wraps till now. Number 12. Matt's Officially Fed Up Matt Roloff just can't seem to catch a break. While showing off his chickens on social media, the reality TV star was quick to respond to trolls on his IG Live, who accused him of being a bad guy. The Roloff patriarch cleared the air on the drama that occurs between Amy and him by stating, If you guys only knew the real story about everything, you know, you get the TV version of me. This was not the first time Matt has acknowledged that things are dramatized on the show, and the focus is often out on the outrageous aspects of the family dynamics. In 2018, Matt went on to say, We've been pushing the new producers to stop making our show negative and to keep the family love and togetherness at the forefront. Number 13. Amy's Humble Brag Amy Roloff isn't holding back and is spilling the tea on what goes on behind the scenes when the cameras aren't rolling. In a recent Instagram story, Amy posted a selfie captioned, and it's interview time for our show. Amy added, Better or worse, I do my own hair and makeup on our show. It keeps filming more real for me. It's reality. After 23 seasons of filming, fans of the series might have assumed that the cast members had their hair and makeup done by the TLC crew. While it might be true, it's certainly not the case for the 57-year-old reality star who seems to have nailed her hair and makeup routine after all these years. Number 14. The Truth Will Set You Free Secrets make you sick, and Jacob is a true testament of how the truth will set you free. TLC's producer's darkest secret was revealed, and Jacob has no fear of telling his truth. Jacob confessed that a producer groomed starting at 10 years old for three years. 
Jacob recalls, as a child, after what I realize now was a long grooming process, the TLC black sheep Jacob completely dissociated from reality TV years prior. But now everything makes sense as to why. In 2008, this producer was found guilty, only serving 73 days in jail. He was held on $200,000 bond on November 12, 2008. Recently, TLC made a statement claiming they had no idea about this crime and asked fans to respect the family's privacy at this time. Considering the timeline of events, Jacob did not accept TLC's facade of noble ignorance. Jacob stated, I have felt and observed over the years that the crew is to preserve their job and preserve the ratings, which is up to you to be right or wrong. Number 15. Rumors Series Wrapped after 22 seasons of the popular TV series, there had been rumors of cancellation. With Jeremy gone, Jacob dissociating, Zach and Tori Roloff confirming their move to Washington, and Matt Roloff flirting with the idea of starting his own YouTube series, fans were left wondering if the family would get another season, or was there nothing left to give? However, Amy Roloff has recently confirmed the cast has signed on for an additional two seasons, with season 23 set to air in May of 2022. TLC's motto of tender love and care has not aged very well. Will you be watching the new season? Are you a fan of the show? Let us know, comment down below, and subscribe to The Thing's Reality, and hit the bell to keep up with all your favorite reality shows.